What's poppin' my fellow kings and queens, ladies and lords? This is the Peace Dealer. My apologies if the volume is, uh, if, if you just hear too much like noise from the cars outside, uh, my apologies in advance. I want to finish this trilogy, the Manifesting Your Legends trilogy with this part three video, and I really think you're gonna like it. This references Jupiter 29 degrees. So the Manifesting Your Legend saga or saga is Neptune and Pisces sextile Uranus in Taurus. We're gonna see this run through until 2025, where at the peak of all of this, you have finished manifesting the experience of your legend, and now you are embodying it through Neptune and Saturn and Aries definition of your character through identification of course you don't write a manga or a comic book in one day so don't inadvertently rush this process but enjoy the process so let me help run you through this process uranus and taurus is manifesting the unique causal facet of your identity so you exist beyond this physical the best and most efficient way to gaslight you is to use a flawed language with vernacular enchantment in order to trick you that you're just physical. The way our language is even set in how we speak to each other idiomatically or just with words, in one sense is cool, but in a way it's used and enforced, it literally chains us to this one reality and to this one universe. This isn't to get into identity politics and convince you that you're meant to be whoever you want to be. You're meant to be who you truly are. And who you truly are is not a physical construct. You exist mentally. The, 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 the you who you are is an invisible essence that if you didn't have your body would still exist internally, if not near internally. So with that being said, this physical avatar enables you to align your frequency and vibration to who you truly are, which expresses itself in an infinite myriad of possibilities. Let me remind you that inside you, you have a world. Neptune risings, people with Neptune on their AC or in the first house reflect the inherent God and goddess within each human being. Shout out to y'all. Every human being, every human, right who is being has a god or goddess within a world a truth your mission is to embody and express this truth so that within the one truth we can speak the divine language that resonates a chord of clarity through your frequency and i'm channeling i'm spinning bars that being said Uranus represents the causal mind. Uranus and Aries helped level up. Jupiter is leveling you up, but Uranus helped awaken you to your true self. The 10 year period during the 2010s facilitated this. And now Uranus and Taurus is manifesting this. As you can see, many people more so than ever are using technology to now manifest their brand. Now that Uranus and Aries has helped them understand who they are, whether that's an alter ego or like a super version of themselves, or you embodying yourself as your super self, Uranus is manifesting that. But Neptune since 2012 has been the invisible fog to create the legend. Once Neptune goes into Aries, this legend will be actualized and the fog will be gone. The fog is the imagination cloud that allows you to write the script. It allows you to live and create the script with your imagination. So you're, many of you think you're caught in imagination. You're not just imagining. You exist beyond this physical plane. The you who exists is the true version of you you see in your mind's eye because that's your higher self. Okay, in this life, we could be out of alignment with that part of ourselves and we face struggle. You need to embrace the struggle because unless you know where you're out of alignment, I think one of the best people to speak on this is Teal Swan. It's a, you know, it's a say it's a shame how they're trying to smear campaign her and act like she a cult leader. She's really just yet another Gemini preaching truth who people can't really handle or stand. And shout out to you, okay? I was gonna say boo boo, but I didn't wanna sound disrespectful. Shout out to you too. Anyway, she said something amazing a while ago, speaking on alignment, that when, you're, when you want to manifest something, 
um, you know, you need to be in alignment. You're going to see people pass you in this race and it's going to frustrate you. But once you come in alignment with yourself, things that you're going to catch up so quick, you're going to speed up. And that's every issue that you have in this life is because you're out of alignment with your true self in a evil world that inverts truth through Satanism so that you stay out of alignment. But you're a revolutionary. It is rebellious in this day and age to just be yourself. <laughs> All right. Because you have people, you have men pre pretending that they're disabled women. Um, and this isn't a social movement. It's a mental illness that these people need help with. It's not to demonize these people. And you being yourself, getting out of politics and arguing with people if this is right or wrong, it's not to point the finger at, you know, these fringe groups. It's to look inward and just shine by example without having to, like, preach to other people. Let your actions do that. Cool. That being said, as you're aligning yourself to your true self, this is a crucial period. Jupiter entering, entering Pisces completed the evolution chain so that you can step into this legend. And now Jupiter retrograding back is getting ready to make you canon, okay? In this universe, like if you're a Leo rising or a sun, you know you're the main character. This is getting ready to kick in. Every single one of you knows that you're a part of a greater plot. And in the solipsistic, the solipsistic fashion is separation's illusion, Everyone's the main character of their own plot and simultaneously side characters of other people's plots. Of course, given the main plot, that involves all of us, uh, whether we're aware of it or not. So your role in this is totally created by you because you create your reality. And so let me lift you out of the illusion that you're delusional as fuck for following what your imagination is intuiting. This is getting ready to lead you and animate this 3D reality so that the anime or the movie that you feel that you're in will now overlap in this reality. And you won't just be seeing signs. It's here now, okay? It's just gonna snap on. So let's get it. In order to step into this, Jupiter coming in the last degrees is going to make this more real for you through synchronicities and signs than ever. And you wanna embrace and enjoy the process as if you are literally stepping into canon in your soul your imagination the part of you that you developed as a child is keying you in in these realms that are beyond the physical but tapped into your true self to highlight you into what narrative you're in this message is for those who have always felt that they're in an anime that there's some special character it's not even that you're special you're you and so you are creating this story you must trust the signs and everyone else who you know is a part of this plot you have the three now the duality of this is pisces the duality of this is how you're going to slip in and out of this movie we're going to call it the legend okay this movie this anime is your legend watch part one and two on my youtube channel if you're on instagram or if you're on youtube go back to that if you want to be brushed up on the significance of this but you're manifesting your unique legend you're manifesting feats and attributes to yourself that no one else will accomplish in this life but you as you step into the realm of the elites now what's very important here is this is entirely fueled by belief the thing about being a legend is that until it's done, no one's going to really believe it's possible. No one really would have believed Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather would have gone 50-0. No one really would have believed that Rihanna would be the crown treasure of Barbados who created a billion dollar industry off of just her back, Aries Moon. Nobody necessarily expected Steph Curry to be this basketball wizard with the highest overall shooting point average. Cheating, if you ask me, because he shouldn't be playing basketball because he's a basketball god. But hey, my opinion really doesn't matter. These are legends. You are manifesting your legend. If these people didn't believe in themselves, we wouldn't be enjoying Fenty. We wouldn't be enjoying Steph Curry swishing and shout out to Money Mayweather. Whether you like these people or not, they did what they did. You can make fun of Floyd Mayweather for being illiterate, but that motherfucker knows his zodiac sign. So he knows more than you bitches who can read and write, but don't know your moon sign. Okay. Anyway, shout out to those of you who stay tuned and you know what time it is. What time it is with 29 degrees Jupiter retrograde and going back into cap is to make this fantasy canon, it's to make it relevant to the part of your life. And only you know what your legend is. You've been gaining signs on it. So here's the thing. It's time to start narrating it. You've allowed this to build and now you want to take a more active role in creating the story. So we're in 3D right now. I'm, I'm crossing through a portal. See it with your mind's eye, through your imagination. I want you to see the end result of this legend. You've been seeing intuitions about it. You've been seeing signs about it. 
What is this grand story you are living? And what is the end result of this story? Doesn't have to end here, but what's the end of this legend that you're manifesting? What does it look like? What do you feel? As we continue, you will expand on this. You're gonna gain more insight, but for now, what does it look like? What does it feel? For me, I am a dictator with a totalitarian regime. I don't know if you've seen Dictator by Sakabara Cohen, but I'm, I'm, I'm tapping into my cap moon. I see it. I've, I've taken over the whole world with the billion dollar vibe tribe. And now we have the new leaders sticking the middle fingers up to the, I see it. It's lit, We're raising the hand like we did it. And our totalitarian regime of peace and truth is out here where everyone loves it. And the only people who are terrified of this reign of terror are people who live a lie and people who are here to hurt others and people who want to actually, you know, be a part of community and do better. They're going to thrive in this regime. It's not going to be a, a, a dictatorship you've ever seen. Cat Moon Club. OK, that's my sick, twisted, dark, beautiful fantasy. Where to Kanye West? Uh, and other than that, before I become a dictator, I still need to go through this. <laughs> I still need to go through this legend of discovery, but I've spoken it and I put it out there, okay? It doesn't matter how fucking delusional or crazy this is. In fact, the more crazy, the better, but it must be aligned to who you are. This allows you to go as crazy as possible and anything out of alignment, you can adjust and shift. It is better to be in alignment than it is to get what your ego desires. Thank me later. Thank yourself later. Okay. Me, yourself, same diff. Anyway, other than that, what's going to be really cool here is as you're creating this, once again, start with the end. Now we've seen the end. Now let's go to the start. How does this begin? By the way, circumstances don't matter. Mark Hawthorne, shout out to all these pages, these all of attraction pages. You're going to see me sharing a lot more Neville Goddard, Pam Grout esque type terminology, but really it all stems back to God. May God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven make sure in aligning with yourself you're aligning with god's will because that's really all that matters and what's very important here is as you create this as you come to the beginning of the story the most important thing about the beginning of the story is who uranus and aries has revealed to you you are and what jupiter and pisces and uranus and taurus and neptune and pisces have confirmed with synchronicities do on part to your actions, developing this nature of your character in relation to other people who confirm this too with their actions, who you are and what you do. You are not supposed to have all the answers in the beginning. You are the director, producer, and the script writer. So spend this time in your imagination to see the end of the movie and see the start of the movie. Joe Rogan, main character, Leo Sun said, picture your life as a movie. And when the movie starts, you're a fucking loser. And that should be motivation for you to remember if you feel like a loser, that's where the movie always starts. And you can change that script. And say, but see, he's a main character. Be careful when Leos tell you stuff because they tell you stuff as a main character. And not everyone's a main character. Not everyone's a Leo. And so, you know, don't be fired. You get burned. But other than that, great message. You want to have as much fun as this as possible because after it goes into Aries, you can no longer build the story. You're acting it. Okay? So take your time with it. Let play with the universe. This is you in the writing board being like, okay, this is how the story ends. This is who I am. The beginning of the story enables you to step further into who you are. And now go in. Don't be modest. Tap into who you are. If you feel like you're the Hokage of the noise, you feel like you're the Hokage of Singletown, you're the Hokage now. And what are your jutsu? What are you starting off with versus what do you master at the end of the story? You'll find it changes significantly as you come into more insight about who you are and where you are and who you're dealing with. And you're going to start to see how now that you know who you are, how you recognize other people. And as the scriptwriter of your reality, you can write who they fit in your plot. In their reality, it might be totally different. You're not the God of their reality. You cannot control other people, but you are the God of yours and you can control how you feel and think and react. Okay, not to be manipulative, but to align with yourself. Okay, congratulations. This is gonna get really fun because your ability to process synchronicities as a part of this process has skyrocketed. So you're gonna be able to enable that to move forward. As the sun goes out of Scorpio in the Sag and then go, Jupiter goes into Aries while the sun is in Cap, this is going to flesh out the greater vision and action. So Sagittarius season, you're gonna see what you have to do 
to step into this and in Capricorn season, you're going to do it and step into this. Godspeed, ladies and gentlemen. Manifest your vision. Peace.